So in the hard part six, it really seemed like Drake is done. He addressed some of the claims and whatnot, but it seems like he is tapping out. And coincidentally, uh, I watched film on Bo Braid, uh, the safety that the Ravens signed from the University of Maryland. And he is the exact opposite of Aubrey because he doesn't quit. He does not give up. And that's one of my favorite things about him. And we're going to talk about that shortly. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you do not miss anything. Leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. Just some personal information. Uh, this past weekend, we had our baby shower for a daughter who should be here in a month and change. A month and change. The due date is June 17th. So we like right there. Super, super close. So I appreciate all y'all that have asked questions. Asked how my wife was doing. Asked how I was doing. Asked how we were doing as a family. I appreciate y'all checking up on us a lot because uh, y'all know y'all are family. So I got a lot of love for y'all, got a lot of respect for y'all, and I appreciate the way that y'all support, not only the channel, but support on a personal level as well. So I love y'all. Now, with Bo Braid, um, this was somebody, I remember doing our live stream, doing a draft. Uh, one of my guys, he was typing in the comment section, he was like, man, hey, I hope that the, the Ravens take the safety out of Maryland, Bo Braid, in the fourth round. And then he was like, oh, well, no, I hope they take him, well, then in the fifth round. And he just really wanted the Baltimore Ravens to draft Bo Braid bad, bad. And I was thinking, okay, this guy, he must really, really be nice because this guy, he just keeps on talking about him. So I know that he is very, very happy that the Baltimore Ravens ended up signing him as an undrafted rookie free agent. Now, when I watch him, good speed, good speed. But my favorite part about him, like I said at the beginning of the video, he is not afraid. He does not quit. Um, and he is not scared to get physical. He ain't scared to get physical. They had him uh, around the line of scrimmage a lot. Um, he ain't afraid to tackle anybody. He ain't afraid to go head up with anybody. And you know, uh, as somebody who plays in a secondary, um, I feel like a d with defensive backs, it's either all or nothing. And it just is one of them things that it is what it is. And what I mean when I say that, it's either all they willing to go head up with everybody, they willing to tackle anybody, they willing, willing to get physical, or it's nothing. And that's not <laughs> the their favorite part of the game. So with him, again, it was all. And, and that was really, really nice to see, especially when you envision him in a Baltimore Ravens defense. You think about him in a Baltimore Ravens defense. Now, as far as interceptions, he, he didn't get a crazy amount of interceptions. I think he got three total in his career. I think two last year and then uh, one the, the previous year. Let me just look at it and make sure. Oh, excuse me, with flip-flop. It was one last year and then two uh, the previous year in 2023. So not a lot of interceptions, but you do see the tackles. And it looks like there was a, a big increase of opportunity uh, from his freshman year uh, to his junior and senior year. Because freshman year, played in three games. Uh, sophomore season, played in six games. But then uh, in his junior and senior season, the last two years, he played in 13 and 12 games. So he was out there a lot more. Um, and then you look at his, his freshman and sophomore year, he had three tackles and then 14 tackles. Uh, but then his junior and senior year, he had 85 tackles and 75 tackles. And in each of those uh, junior and senior year, he had four tackles for a loss. So he was out there uh, letting his impact be known and, again, being very physical with it. Now, when you think of a Bo Braid, um, how much of an opportunity, how much of a chance does he have to make the Baltimore Ravens roster? Now, that, I think, will be very, very, very tough. Reason being, obviously, you got Kyle Hamilton. Obviously, you got Marcus Williams. Um, but right now, sort of that, that third safety spot, it's a bit unknown at the present. And with that being said, um, with how the Baltimore Ravens are constructed, where they're at uh, with their team, with how close they are to being a Super Bowl team, even though they were a Super Bowl team last year, but they had three safeties last year. I don't envision them handing off the third safety responsibility. Not to say that he can't do it. I'm sure he could come in and do it and handle it, but I don't envision them handing that opportunity off to an undrafted rookie free agent. Like him coming into the NFL his first year and him having to be their third safety. Because if they still do run the defense like they did last year, a third safety will be very, very important. Because if you have that third safety, then you can still allow Kyle to do what he does. And you just have that much more flexibility as well. 
Um, but I don't envision them being like, all right, Bo, it's all yours. Again, anything possible. <laughs> you never know. But I anticipate the Baltimore Ravens still signing somebody. There's Daryl Worley, who's obviously familiar with the Baltimore Ravens. He's been with the Baltimore Ravens for the past couple of years. Uh, there's Justin Simmons. That could be another option, too. There's Micah Hot. They got options, is what I'm saying. They, and they have veteran options. They have quality veteran options. And those are guys that have a lot of experience in the NFL. They done seen a lot of stuff in the NFL. So I would anticipate the Baltimore Ravens going with one of those guys over really – any other option right now uh so we'll see how it goes now with Bo braid um he would be set up nice uh if he did make the team even if he just made the practice squad because while their interactions may be limited which i get because they're like the starters they're the first team guys and and he would be maybe the practice squad or be running with the second third team, whatever but he would be behind and being able to watch and see and dissect Kyle Hamilton and Marcus Williams up close because the way that Bo Braid plays, it's a good mix of both because with Kyle Hamilton, he's there, he's here, he's there, he's over there, he's at the line of scrimmage, he dropped back, he's, a, he's everywhere. And with Bo Braid, he did a lot of that same stuff. He would be literally everywhere. And again, like I said at the very beginning, not afraid to get physical. When he, with him not being afraid to get physical, that's that's great, especially as a Baltimore Raven because tackling is of the essence. I remember if you just go what like two three years ago, remember how big of an issue tackling was? You know what's great? Like that? No, yeah, that was like uh, three years ago because last year wasn't an issue, uh, and then two years ago it wasn't really an issue. But yeah, three years ago tackling was a big issue for the Baltimore Ravens. But I don't know what Mike McDonald came in and did, but he got that issue solved. Of course, stuff happens here and there, but overall, the tackling had improved so much. Bo Bray would fit in perfectly with that because he likes to tackle. That's why the Baltimore Ravens, they, you, normally, they get physical corners. You look at them all in Humphrey, physical corner, he ain't afraid to tackle. You look at a Brandon Stevens, physical corner, he ain't afraid to tackle. You look at Kyle Hamilton, and we can go down the list. But anyway, uh, with Bo Bray, him being able to watch a Kyle Hamilton, and see how he plays And then him being able to watch a Marcus Williams The more drop back safety And just watching everything that he does And with Marcus Williams The same thing It's tricky because he's been hurt He's missed a lot of time with injury But when he does play He's excellent He's a very very good Productive safety So if Bo Bray was able to make the team Again whether active roster or practice squad And him being able to just watch those two In motion that could really, really go well for him and just allow his game uh, to enter another level, especially from going from the collegiate to a professional level. So we'll see. This is a fun sign, and it's nice that the Baltimore Ravens brought in a lot of guys because, again, competition. It'll bring the best out of these guys. It'll, um, and even for anybody who doesn't even make the team, the fact that they're here right now, this can set them up. For the future as well For whatever t other team gives them an opportunity Because they will be Especially in somebody in like Bo Braid's position He will have seen Some of the best safeties in the league Do it Especially Super Duper Kyle Like the man is just literally amazing So for you to be And then hopefully he does get an opportunity to speak with him And just really ask some questions and whatnot. Like how are you doing this in your young career You're going into year three and there are arguments that you are the best or one of the best safeties in the game. And you're going into year three. How did you do it? So, welcome to Baltimore Ravens, Bo Braid. Uh, appreciate you accepting that contract offer as an undrafted rookie free agent. And it's cool for him because we always talk about making things easy. How life should be easy and stuff is nice when it's more convenient. He just went to University of Maryland, and now he get to pretty much stay at home. He get to stay at home, man. You, you right up the street, man. So that's just, that's perfect. But team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching the videos. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton. 
We are 90 away from 75K. 90 subscribers away from 75,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all like crazy. Thank you. Thank you for spreading the word about the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel. And we are out.